Hi everybody, it's Larry Villa here from Villa Lost Souls, and today we are looking at the Kings of War hardcover book from Mantic Games. And this is a really, really kind of a big important step for uh, Mantic Games. I'm sure that all you guys have kind of been keeping track of them. They're a company out of Nottingham. They're a few years old now, and they started off years back with uh, some... Uh, plastic elves and some other kind of fantasy things, uh, uh, fantasy rangers. They moved on to undead. They moved on to orcs. They kind of have been working their way through it. And people, and they had a kind of a simple set of rules. There was a, there was a little pamphlet. It was a PDF. You could download them. They were written by uh, uh, Lesio uh, Cavatore of uh, X uh, Games Workshop, um, ga uh, uh, game designer who's probably best known for uh, Warhammer Fantasy. Um, and he worked on 40k as well. Um, so you know they, it, uh, you know they, they, uh, they are just moving along. They've had a couple big kickstarters of late. One uh, yeah, for this book here, and they have another one that is currently running. So they are definitely very, very active uh, in the war games space. And uh, this is kind of a, a big deal for them. This is kind of the uh, you know the Kings of War hardcover. Once the arrival of this book, kind of you know in a very real way, this is kind of the. The coming of age, I guess, is, is is probably the best way of putting it for Mantic. You know, they're definitely, you know, now you walk into a store and you get a full range of miniatures of, you know, almost a dozen armies now probably for their for their both uh, fancy and sci-fi systems. And now there's now there's hardcover rule books to go with them. So you know, it's it is definitely, it's it is you know, it was kind of the missing piece that you know, it was the one thing that that, you know, just seemed odd that it wasn't there. So let's dive right into it. Uh, Kings of, this is uh, the Kings of War hardcover rulebook. Uh, it is $34.99. What we're looking at here is we have a 144-page book. It's hardcover. It's full color. And let's go take a look at it so you guys can see what Mantic has cooked up. Uh, first of all, just kind of the very, very basics of the, uh, of the book itself. As I was saying, 144 pages. It's full cover. Uh, full color, just what you would expect from any kind of uh, modern uh, wargaming supplement. That's what it looks like. There's the back of it. Let's flip this guy over and take a look. So, Kings of War by Alessio Cavatore. There we go, right there. Uh, he did the uh, kind of the core rules, and then we have a uh, listed uh, advanced rules by Jake Thornton. Hey, check this out over here. Special thanks, everyone at Bell Lost Souls. Loving that. All right, thanks, Ronnie. Um, so, uh, kind of a rundown of the contents here. We're going to start off, uh, as you can see, basically uh, really, really, really quick. We have uh, there's some world building, uh, uh, fluff and background section. You get the basic rules right here. You get the advanced rules. You get a big list of uh, all default army lists that are in the back, and even at the very, very end, you get some tournament rules. So we're going to go into these kind of section by section. First thing you get right off the bat is you get ten, uh, you get ten pages. That actually fifty. 15 pages, kind of the general uh, high-level overview of the world. You get some art, you get some background, and then you actually start to get into the more detailed things. We get our big maps. We get Mantica, the world of Kings of War, and you can see it's kind of vaguely kind of a twisted uh, European world. You know, you have, it could be Europe, maybe, over here. This could be the Fertile Crescent, and over here, kind of North Africa-ish, if such a thing were possible, which clearly it's not. I'm sure that's just me seeing things, seeing, you know, faces in the sand and in the clouds. Um, but it's nice. It's good to actually see, you know, one of the hardest things for any up-and-coming game system is to really cement that fantastical world that really pulls you into it and binds you. You know, that you know. yes, we all like to talk about how how we love this system X's rules or system Y is tighter than this. But, you know, at the end of the day, the funny thing is that, you know, after being in this, you know, kind of, you know, a gamer for years and years and years, it's the little things. It's the, it's the game system. It's the stories. It's the, it's the background that really kind of over the long term binds you to a game system. So very happy to see that they're actually, there is some stuff now. They're starting in on it. You know, there is, there's, there's a, you know, there's, you know, you know, there's now a Mantic universe. And uh, there it is. You have all the nations. Now we get into the rules themselves. Uh, the core rules, uh, these are written by Alessio. Uh, so they're going to, you know, I would definitely consider them to be, they're kind of classics of the Alessio style. They're the minimalist, they're the less is more kind of a game uh, f uh, game design philosophy, as we've seen from a lot of the game systems that he's worked on for a variety of, of, of companies. You know, his, his game systems in general are, you know, they're pretty, 
they're tight, they move fast. There's not a you know a crazy amount of rolling for not a lot of action. You know, you tend to get smaller, you know, smaller, lesser. You know, you know, there's you know less dice, more stuff happens. Kind of a kind of a feel for it. You know, you get all the basic things you you would accept for you would expect from a, a fantasy game here. So definitions of units, how you measure things, movement, how you how you move, how you charge, how you interact with terrain. You know shooting morale uh, you know the big kind of mandatory by modern game standards you get your section of, of, of special rules that various units have uh, how to construct armies um, my favorite bit of all miniature game systems the pictures of delighted players playing with their toy soldiers how I love those standard scenarios we're all done with that then we get on to the advanced rules these are written by uh, uh, not by Alessio by the way let me go back here really quick we have advanced rules by Jake Thornton uh, you get about another 25, 30 pages here to cover, you know, for people who kind of want that, want uh, to, you know, kick their game up to a higher level. So we got more, you know, there's more stuff going on. We get, here's an interesting concept. There's an entire page on how to do timed games. So if people want to do that, you can. It's, you know, and it's specific rules on how to do it, advanced rules on on terrain so you get you know charts of dangerous terrain and kind of weird magical terrain and its in-game effects how you work with buildings how to do multiplayer games team games things like that it's nice to actually have formal rules for things like that how to play really huge giant games with you know large amounts of miniatures siege rules very very interesting here you get a whole section here so formalized rules for attacking castles attacking all that kind of stuff how to you know how you deal with it all the special equipment and rules that you would need for those kind of, you know, formal attacker defender type games, stories, uh, playing campaigns, go through that, you know, there's examples of campaigns and how you would run a campaign. And then you get to the, so we're done with all the rules and now we're on to the army lists. And, uh, you know, I think Mantic kind of, you know, they, they, you know, people were saying, where's your rule book? Where's your rule book? Where's your rule book? And I think they were pushing back and they really wanted to do a book like this earlier, but they waited a long time because they wanted, they, you know, they wanted a sufficient range. And this book has eight army lists in it. So, you know, what we're looking at is, you know, probably compared to a Games Workshop as number, as, you know, definitely, you know, War, Warhammer Fantasy has, I don't know what the number is, 16, I think, somewhere around there, 14 to 16 different armies. We have eight now. You know, we have a competing system. It's out. It has, you know, a formal rule book. It has kind of a different flavor to it. Um, you know, it is fantasy. It's toy soldiers it's set in a fantastical universe. And you have eight, eight, eight armies now. So there's kind of, you know, a critical mass here. So uh, each of these army lists, you get you know, a couple pages of background, what the army is about, the army special rules, uh, if they have any, and then you get all the units. So here's, we'll, we'll go through one of these really quick, and, and then we'll kind of skim over the other. So you get dwarves, all their background. There's their army special rule. They can, they can throw mastiffs. If you look on the sprues of the dwarves, they all have these little kind of bulldogs with little leather strap handles on the back of them and they hurl these things into enemy units before they charge and just cause all kinds of mayhem and chaos um, then you get into the list itself uh, because uh, uh, you'll get you'll get uh, each of these army lists is actually pretty decent you'll get about 20 different units on average some are a little little less some are a little more um, it's more fluff you get you know all the different kinds of units and you can buy them in different sizes because that's kind of one of the hallmarks of Kings of War is that Kings of War is a unit based game as opposed to a model based game so you get stats for the, you know your blocks of troops as a, as, a, as a whole and that unit kind of fights and maneuvers and takes casualties as a whole not as a you know you're not kind of going in there and pulling out the little fiddly bits of oh you know my my 50 guys I lost two archers you know in, in a Kings of War game you're just not going to care about that level of detail um, uh, so you get, you know, ironclads, iron guard, shield breakers, you know, bulwark. So, you know, there's four units right there. We keep on going. There's another, uh, another four, uh, you get, uh, various types of machines and guns. You get lords and characters you get, um, and there's a couple named characters in there also. Uh, so really quick. So that was dwarves. We have elves. They have their own range. There they all are. We're just kind of skimming through these. Kingdoms of Men. Here we go. Uh, we have men right here uh, and all their stuff. Lots of art and drawings here. So uh, I think, hint, hint, I would assume that this is going to be the next big range that's going to be coming out for Mantic is going to be their 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 human uh, range, which uh, you can see tons of stuff there. Humans, there's ogres, there's heroes, there's priests, there's kinds of all kinds of stuff. Uh, you have uh, uh, abyssal dwarves. Over here, we get goblins, we get orcs, we get, keep on going over here, we get twilight kin, 
These are uh, elves that have been naughty. A whole bunch of them and all their stuff. And then we get undead. And is that it? Or is there a last one? We get undead at the very end. Kind of all the classic... The undead range is, de is, is uh, a lot of people consider the undead range to be one of Mantic's best ranges. And it is just, you know, supposedly a big seller. And we have definitely done reviews of them. And it's really good stuff. Um, with all their kinds of things. And then at the very end, look at that. I have to say, as someone who actually, you know, runs tournaments as well, on a regular basis, uh, we run War Games Con. Thank you guys so much. A formal set of rules, of uh, recommendations for running tournaments, how to run the games, how to how to score things. So there we go, and that takes us to the master index, and we are done. Manticgames.com. Close this guy up. So once again. That is the Kings of War hardcover book. It's thirty four ninety nine, one hundred and forty four pages. It'll be cheaper, you know, if you have a, you know, if you, you know, I'm sure there are e-tailers out there who can offer you things like that. But you know, thirty four ninety nine, that's a pretty good price. Uh, full color, eight army lists in it, you know, you know, and uh, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to say that you know, Mantic hasn't kind of, you know, you know, this is, uh, you know, they've kind of reached a critical mass state for Kings of War, you know, in every kind of metric that that you could. Uh, that you could uh, analyze it, you know, it is a, it is a, it is a, you know, real game system now. So, you know, it's there, it has lots of armies, it's got a full set of, of, uh, of rules, you know, it's written by top quality people, so I would say, you know, if you guys are, if anyone is at all interested, pick it up, give it a shot, you may just like it. And that's it for Bell Lost Souls, we'll talk to you guys later.